Hi guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how the orientation of F2L edges can help you determine whether or not you need to make rotations. So I guess the first question to answer is why do we want to reduce rotations? And the answer is pretty straightforward. It's that if we have good look ahead, if we can turn well on both the left and right hand, right hand sides of our F2L, then having no rotations in our F2L or having very few rotations will lead to a very smooth, fast F2L uh, that flows really nicely from one pair to the next. So the next thing I want to explain to you is the concept of oriented edges. So essentially edges are considered oriented if they can be inserted into their F2L slot using only U, L and R moves. So let's say we've done the cross here. If we can insert an F2L edge into its correct slot in, in its correct orientation using only U, L and R moves, then the edge is considered to be oriented. So here we've got this edge, which is the blue and orange one, which belongs down here. So we can just do a U prime, R prime, and that inserts this edge correctly. So this edge is oriented. However, this one, this orange and green one, is not oriented because if we do a U and then do an L to move it into its position, then it's misoriented. So we, we can only use U, L, and R moves to um, insert correctly oriented edges. So then, how does this relate to rotations in your F2L? Well, we're able to recognize whether an edge is oriented by its sticker that's facing upwards. So for example here, the sticker that's facing upwards is this orange one in this oriented F2L edge, whereas in this F2L edge, the sticker that's facing upwards is this green one. Now, if this sticker is either the color of the front face or the color of the back face, then that means the edge is oriented, whereas if the sticker is the color of either the left or the right hand face, then it's misoriented. And if an edge is misoriented, then it will most likely require us to do a rotation to solve it. And if an edge is oriented, then most likely the easiest way to insert it will not involve any rotations. So in this example, I've got this F2L edge that I want to insert here. And so because it's oriented, I can simply do a D, R U prime, R prime, D prime to insert it into its correct position without uh, rotating the cube at all. Now remember that we had this other F2L edge which was misoriented and it's actually been paired up with its F2L corner. However, it's, we have it in this situation and remember because it was misoriented, we'll need to most likely do a rotation to actually insert this F2L pair. However, before we do that, we can notice that there are two other F2L edges uh, in this top layer. There's this one and this one. So from this orientation, these two are actually correctly oriented because they both have the red sticker facing upwards. So then when we actually rotate and insert this F2L pair, then these two edges are now misoriented. So if we try to insert this one into the back left using L, L prime, uh, it's incorrectly oriented. Similarly, if we try to insert this one using U2 then L, it's misoriented. So what we can do is do another rotation to put these two slots in the front. Now these two edges are both correctly oriented and to actually solve this F2L pair, we can solve both of these F2L pairs really uh, in a really easy manner without doing any rotations. So now that they're oriented, we can just go L prime U2 L, U prime L prime U L, and then this one, like that. One thing we can do when we get to the last F2L slot is actually deduce the orientation of our edge and figure out whether we need to do a rotation by looking at the orientation of our last layer edges. So here we have three last layer edges already oriented, and we have this one, which is yellow and it's facing forward, so it's also oriented. So that means the last F2L edge will definitely be oriented and we don't have to do any rotations. So when you get to this position and you see this straight in front of your eyes, you should immediately know that you don't have to do any rotations. The last F2L edge is here. You can rotate it over here and then insert. However, like with any rule, there's always going to be a couple of exceptions and things to be careful of. So we've got this F2L edge here, which is oriented because uh, the top color sticker is green. And the actual, the corresponding corner for this F2L edge is down here in the back left. Now there are, there are multiple ways we can actually use this. So we can obviously do something like L U prime L prime to take this back left edge out and then insert this F2L pair like that without doing any rotations. However, perhaps an easier thing to do is, is probably just a rotate, take it out, and then insert it, something like that. However, for the vast majority of F2L cases, if you have an oriented edge, then there shouldn't be any need to rotate the cube to insert your F2L pair.